What is up, YouTube? Let's see this bottle say one here, and I am bringing you the third episode of Transition Tuesdays for this season. It is GU Edition, and it is against Shadow Artie, or Doomsday, something or another. Not really sure what that is, but if you guys want to go ahead and click the link at the end of the video in the team preview, it'll take you to his channel, and then that will have the proper name. But anyway, uh, looking at this team preview, I have a brand new team to debut and to talk about, so I'm going to talk about it. It is based around uh, Yan Mega, you know, standard Yan Mega set, nothing special here, nothing weird physical about it, but... Uh, after I built the team, I took a look at the uh, Yan Mega team that the Rabbit Chipmunk had, and his is pretty much identical to my team, except he has a uh, Raikou instead of a Azelf. And I used to have a Victini on this team, but it just didn't pack enough punch. So, looking at my team, I do have the lead Golurk with Stealth Rock and the defensiveness stuff, and I do have a Choice Banded Azelf, which packs a huge punch. Literally. And then I have a uh, specially defensive Roserade, physically defensive Blastoise, and Choice Scarfed Heracross, um, as well as the uh, Yan Mega there. So, this team does work really well. I like it a lot. But, looking at my opponent's team, he does have the Firewater Grass Core in the form of Shaman, Kingdra, and Charizard. A defensive core in the form of uh, him on top and Umbreon, and then, like, uh, a powerhouse, anti-lead kind of Nidoking is what I'm getting off this. I'm not sure if it's Choice Scarfed or if any of his other Pokemon are Choice Scarfed, but his Nidoking's like the only thing that's kind of hinting Choice Scarf. So yeah, here we go. My opponent's going to be leading off with the Nidoking as I decide to lead off with my Golurk. And now we did have a battle before this one, and in that battle he did play pretty obviously. So I figure he's just going to go for the Ice Beam here. I don't have anything that can switch in twice to um, a Nidoking. So I decided to stay in and go for the Earthquake, um, trying to get a huge chunk of damage off. I realized that I don't really need to set up my Stealth Rock to win the game, but I do manage to take out the Nidoking King early on, which is really nice because I thought for sure that my Golurk wasn't going to be able to do that, but hey, he does. So um, I decided to switch out here because I don't want to take a foul play or the Dark type move in general because in my head I was like, oh, he's going to go for payback, but that nobody's gone for payback and I couldn't even tell you how long. So I go out on my Rose Raid to take that hit and I do take it pretty well and I decide to go for the Sludge Bomb here hoping to get the poison on this thing because I know after Synchronize I won't be able to get poison because hey, I'm a poison type so uh, I do get the poison synchronize happens and it doesn't work after he goes for the yawn and he outspeeds me which I thought was kind of weird uh, I don't know if he's running speed EVs or it's just a natural base power thing or base speed thing so whatever I go for the spike series he goes for another um, foul play and I decided to switch out here because I know I'm going to be put to sleep I really can't do anything after um, uh, I'm asleep so I switch out and go into my Blastoise because that's the best thing that I have to take a foul play right now and as he decides to switch out and go into his Shaman I'm not sure if he really predicted the, sh um, the Blastoise switch in but he did get the upper hand in that case so I am forced to switch out here because I need my Blastoise in case he does have some random Pokemon that can set up Stealth Rocks so I go out into my Rose Ray to take the Seed Flare uh, unfortunately for me he hits and then gets the defensive drop which is uh, pretty sad, but hey, you know, it's okay. Um, I'm not going to be able to outspeed it anyway as he goes for the Psychic on this turn to take me out. Even without the special defensive drops, I'm pretty sure that he would have been able to take me out with that Psychic, even if I wasn't at minus two. So um, I noticed that it has Life Orb. I decided to go into my Azelf here and go for the Ice Punch, and uh, he go he's going to switch out here, go into his Umbreon, and his Umbreon is not going to take that Choice Banded Ice Punch very well. Um, so I'm kind of excited by that because even after Leftovers, doesn't matter because I did get the Poison on it, which is actually going to cancel out Leftovers entirely and actually leave it with losing some HP. So um, I decided to go for another, um, not close combat, another Ice Punch here. I thought maybe I should switch out, but no, 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 I don't need to. Um, so luckily for me, I get a critical hit here, which is going to be really nice because uh, I was at minus one. I figured that I might be able to take it out, but I didn't want to risk the Sucker Punch. So I switch out and go to my Golurk to see if he has Sucker Punch, and he does. I am fairly certain that he's going to go for the Foresight here, predicting me to go for the Stealth Rock. I'm not sure if he was predi predicting me to go for Stealth Rock or if he just wanted to get rid of the spikes on his side of the field. But I do go for the um, Stealth Rock as he does reveal the... Um, uh, whatever that thing called, <laughs> the Foresight. And now I figure he's going to want to go for close combat. I don't know why I thought this, but I was fairly certain he was going to go for it. So I stay in here as he does go for close combat, and I am able to take him out with an Earthquake from this range because I'm pretty sure it's because he's at minus one. And uh, that was really nice for me. I don't know what possessed me to think that he was going to go for Earthquake or um, close combat instead of Rapid Spin. But it worked out for me in the long run because I was just going to go for another Stealth Rock. And then I was like, no, let's go for Earthquake in case he goes for close combat. And uh, he does, which is really cool. And then he just goes into his Umbreon and kills it right there. I'm not sure what was up with that, but, you know, whatever. 
whatever. So I decided to stay in on the Shaman just to rack up Life Orb damage and um, just to see what kind of set it is as I send out my Yon Mega. Now, I know he's going to predict me to go for the Protect, so right now I'm going to go for the Bug Buzz to get that free speed boost up, and then on the following turn I'll go for the Protect. Now, here he goes for Substitute, which I, I do not recommend having on a Life Orb set. One of my people in my Skype group thought maybe he had the um, sub synthesis kind of thing going on, but there's no way that he wouldn't have gone for synthesis being that low of HP. So I don't know what that was right there, but uh, it, it wasn't. It's not a good thing. Don't run sub in life orb ever. So uh, I go for a bug buzz, take it out, and that's pretty cool. And now he's going to go out into his Kingdra here. Kingdra's going to take some damage from these spikes and the stealth rock. And then I'm going to go for the bug buzz thing, and I can take it out from this range. Uh, nope. Kingdra is going to live it and then uh, take me out with a Surf. I thought maybe I could take it out. I'm not sure if that's min damage because I feel like it is um, being, you know, max special attack and modest and life orb and stab. And it's not resisted. It's a neutral hit. But, you know, whatever. I'm going to cool down for a second. I lock myself into the Zen Headbutt with my A-Zelf, um, knowing that I can hit everything on his team. And then he goes into his Charizard, which is his last Pokemon. I was kind of hoping I'd miss the Zen Headbutt and he would take me out with whatever move so I could go into my Heracross and debut that thing. But that's not the case. And uh, I just take him out and win the game so thank you shadow arty for the battle if you guys want to go ahead and check him out feel free to click from the nittle king all the way to the what's that thing called the other pokemon which is called him on top figured it out and uh that'll take you directly to his channel like his stuff favorite it do whatever you want subscribe to him if you want to if you want to see my last <clears throat> what the heck was that if you want to see my last battle go ahead and click the yon mega if you want to see my next video when i upload it click the gold lurk if you want to see the playlist for this um series here you can go ahead and click a1's videos it'll take you directly to the playlist start from um, watch it from start to finish and uh, you will enjoy yourself I promise so uh, yeah that's about it guys follow me on Twitter follow me on Tumblr add me on Skype Puddles I want his name throughout all that I use those social networks to find battles and to receive battles so if you want to give me a battle there hit me up on one of those networks so uh, yeah that's about it guys thank you guys for watching peace love and later Gators